Emily to help me sing today. It's just going to be me and I'm going to be teaching you the space song. So let's get... Hi, Mrs. Rice. Hi, Sammy. How are you? I'm super. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't know you were coming today. Well, I heard you were talking about space. Well, yes, I am. Sammy, do you have any questions? Yes. Well, what is it? Are there snakes in space? Okay, well, as far as I haven't been all the way to every place in space, but most planets and the moon are either too hot or too cold uh, to have any plant or animal life, and the sun is definitely too hot, so I'm going to say there aren't any snakes in space. But, you know what, I'm, well, that doesn't mean there won't be in the future. You could go up on a shuttle, I suppose. That stinks, Mrs. Wright. Okay, this is called Lunar and Solar Eclipse. Moon shadow blocking the sun, that is a solar eclipse. When Earth's shadow blocks moon, the words on my lips, blocked moon is a lunar eclipse. The next song is called Moon Phases, and it's about all the different phases of the moon, because the moon looks different in the sky. New moon can see the moon in the sky. First quarter's next, then full moon shines. Last quarter ends the cycle fine. Now, I am going to sing a little song for you about revolve and rotate. And they're similar, but they're different. So here it goes. To turn in a circle, that is to rotate. To turn in a circle, that is to rotate. To turn in a circle, that is to rotate. Oh, turn, turn, turn means rotate. To move around an object, that is to revolve. To move around an object, that is to revolve. To move around an object, that is to revolve. Move around an object is revolve. To give us night and day, Earth rotates round and round. To give us our seasons, Earth revolves around the sun. To give us night and day, Earth rotates round and round. Sun gives us light and heat, that is fun. Now, I have another song about an axis. And an axis is the straight line through the center of an object, and the axis is how straight you stand. So if my axis wasn't really that straight, it was t tilted, I would kind of, my head would be like this. And that's how our Earth is. It has a tilted axis. So let's talk about axes. A straight line through the center of an object is its axis. Earth turns on its axis round and round. That's just what the facts is. When northern Earth is closer to the sun, it's summer season. At the same time, it's winter on south Earth. Now what's the reason? Our axis makes our Earth have a warm half and a cold one. Now I know about seasons, so my song is done. Now, you can also learn the nine planets in the solar system by saying a really easy phrase. And the phrase is, my very eager mother just served us nine pizzas. My, Mercury, very, Venus, eager, Earth, mother, Mars, J just, Jupiter, served, Saturn, us, Uranus, nine, Neptune, pizzas, Pluto. So that's an easy one to do the nine planets. Now I have a song about the sun and all the stuff that's going on in our very, very own star, the sun, that is so hot. The corona is gases round the sunshine. A sunspot is a dark spot. But that's where solar storms can happen. Gases flare up really hot. The inner planets orbit close to the sun, so they get its light and heat. The outer planets orbit out farther, and they're made of gas that's neat. Now, I have another little song, and it works really well if you're standing up. It's about gravity, and gravity is always pulling us down all the time. So here it goes. Gravity's pulling, always pulling, pulling down, pulling down. The more matter that's in you, the stronger it will pull you. So you'll weigh more, you'll weigh more. And gravity always pulls us down. Rice. Oh, yeah. This is Rice. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi, Stinky. Let's be careful with oh. that tail. What are you doing here? 
here? Well, I didn't I, think anyone was coming today. Hey, that snake was telling me all about you <laughs> singing on space. And I thought, I got some questions about you singing in space. Okay, well, I am singing about space. What is your question? I'd be happy to answer it, Stinky. How about, has there ever been a skunk <laughs> going up on a rocket ship? <laughs> I don't put the tail down. I'm going to be honest with you, and I need, I need you to listen. I need you to listen. No. And the reason is, is because skunks have a, a little bit of an odor to them. And I don't think any of the astronauts want to be stuck in a rocket ship or in a space shuttle. And definitely not a space shuttle because in a shuttle you're there a longer time. Are you calling me stinky? I, that's your name, buddy. No. Okay? So, no. But that doesn't mean you can make your own rocket ship. Maybe do some pretending or watch some Discovery Channel. Oh, I don't know. Okay, okay right. or you can sing with me right now if you'd like. Oh, well, uh... No, I'm gonna okay. watch. I'm okay, gonna watch. I'm gonna you watch. watch. Now here's one of my favorite songs. It's about asteroids and comets and all the other cool things floating around and zooming through space. A S T E R O I D. Asteroid. A S T E R O I D. Asteroid. It's a chunk of rock or metal that orbits the sun. Asteroid. Asteroid. A comet also orbits sun, but it's ice and rock. A comet is a body of ice and rock. Atmosphere. It's the layer of gases around our planet here. The sun and all the objects that orbit the sun are the solar system. The solar system. S -s -s solar system. about the moon and the sun together because they're kind of some close objects that we see all the time and let's learn about them. If earth were closer to the sun, earth would be real hot and dry. Plants and animals can't live like that, they'd probably die. Our sun is closer than the stars and that's why it looks so large. It's way bigger than the moon and it's bigger than earth and Mars. In our solar system, the sun is the biggest thing. But it don't look very big because it is so far away. Now, I would like to sing a little bit about the moon. Um, and, you know, we absolutely can't survive on the moon without protective gear. And here's some reasons why. Don't forget to clap when I clap. It's a little bit of a clapping song. We cannot survive on the moon. There's no oxygen or food. Yeah, yeah, the moon has no atmosphere. It has no water or air. Yeah, yeah, sometimes half the moon is dark and half is light. That's cause the earth can block sun's light. Oh yeah. My last song is about uh, things called satellites. And a satellite, well, you'll find out. So here it is. If you're a satellite, you orbit a bigger thing. You go round and round another object. In space, the moon's a satellite of our planet Earth. And Earth's a satellite of the sun. Satellites revolve, and that is fun. So that's the space songs. And if you study these songs, you'll know the answers to a lot of test questions. And Hi guys. How, how, how super, Mrs. Rice? Well, Sammy, I, oh, you are so cute. I am so glad that you like singing. Maybe next time you'll sing with me? Something tells <laughs> me I might. <laughs> you might. I hope the kids learn the songs. Well, I think it stinks. Of course. That there are no skunks in space. <laughs> it stinks. Okay, Stinky, mm. that, that doesn't mean you can't write the president. Oh, I so think I might. You do it, okay? Cause you should write the president. I should write the president. I'm gonna go do that. Okay, right now. You, you, this is right. Okay, go do that. And you guys are gonna help me sing the next time with the kids. Yes. Okay. Hey, practice your song.